Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my August TBR. How is it August? This year is flying by, which is crazy and just unbelievable to me, and just how... Summer is really almost over. I mean, I know it's not technically over until September, but like, that summer vibe stops at the end of August. Oh my god, I can't believe this. But anyways, this is my TBR. I have a lot of books on here that I've mentioned in the past like three TBR videos because I am awful. I just had a really great reading month. If you watched my wrap up on Monday, then you guys will know that. If not, link down below. You can go and check that out. But I have been reading so much contemporary because you guys know by now, contemporary romances, that's summertime for me. But I haven't been really reading any fantasy. I've read like a couple historical fictions but it's really just been contemporary that's been it so I really want to get caught up on fantasy because I have so many on my TBR which the shelves are destroyed right now because I have a lot of them right in front of me but I need to get back into fantasy I need to I need to I need to I was on a huge fantasy kick in like springtime so maybe it's time again I don't know we shall see but without further ado let's just TBR Woo! What is happening to me? I've had too much coffee and I've been filming for a long time. Anyways, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with a kind of reading schedule thing that will make sense to no one except for me because I am so weird when it comes to reading certain things that I have to like build myself up to be able to read it. So this is me building myself up, okay? It's weird. Just bear with me as I try to explain. So first up, Roar by Cora Carmack. Probably will be reading this. I'm not too sure what it's about. I know it has to do with storms and stuff, but it's a fantasy and I believe it's a pretty light fantasy. If it's not, then I have plenty of others on my TBR, but this is the one that has been sticking out to me recently. Just the cover I think is really pretty, so I might be picking this one up. If not, maybe another one, but this will be step one. Step two, if that goes well, is to pick up The Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Chime Out, which from my understanding is more of an intense high fantasy. Lots of characters, politics, that stuff going on, so this will be step two. I once again, and you guys are used to it with TBR videos because I like to go into books not knowing a lot. I just know that this is a high fantasy and that's really it. Now step three and four can be switched, but I think this is the order that I'm going to do them in. So step number three is to reread Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes because I want to move on to Rebel Springs and Gathering Darkness. Is that what the other one is? Yeah. Rebel Springs and Gathering Darkness. So I need to reread this one before I do that. So that is step number three. It's a high fantasy, but I'm familiar with it. Canadian an author. It's kind of like Game of Thrones of YA. It's awesome. So I'm excited to reread this one and I will probably do a review this time around. Then step four is to finally read Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I haven't read this yet. I tried the audiobook and the audiobook just wasn't clicking with me. So I'm going to try and actually like physically read it. But if it doesn't work for me, then I'm probably just going to unhaul it. Now step five and six are what I'm working up to with this. So first is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. This is going to be a high fantasy kind of super hero thing so I don't think this one will be too intense but the thing is I feel like this just makes it easier for me I'm absolutely crazy but I work from a lower fantasy that's a small format book like you see small format this is a large format so I move from this to a high fantasy small one to either a low fantasy tall one or a high fantasy tall one if I'm feeling ambitious I mean Falling Kingdoms is one that I've it's a reread so it's not too hard so I'm going with a high fantasy tall one but then I'm moving Moving on to this one, which is coming out at the end of August, so I really need to read it. I've had it for forever and I just suck, so I definitely want to get to this one before it comes out at the end of this month, so that's what I'm working up to, but the ultimate end goal here is embarrassing. I am so embarrassed to say that I have not yet read A Court of Wings and Broom by Sarah J Mass. What is happening to me? This came out just before I was leaving for my trip, so I just was waiting until I got back, and then I was in a reading slump when I got back, and then I was just on a contemporary kick so I wasn't picking it up but I really Sarah J Mass. I think I'm putting it off because her books take me for freaking ever to read they just are not quick reads for me at all I have to really take my time with them because there's so many things going on so many characters but I need to read this and do a review I really need to so this is the ultimate end goal I need to read it this month before Tower of Dawn comes out or else I'm gonna have two Sarah J Mass books on my TBR which is too too many that is just like overwhelming so 
I need to get to this. I need to. Future Haley, if you are watching this to see what you included on your August TBR, this better not be on your September TBR because I will find you and I will hurt you. I know where you sleep, okay? So that's kind of my fantasy plan right now. Now I am planning on kind of diving headfirst into the project that I'm working on, aka my novel. I'm planning on starting the outline hopefully in August. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done and actually start writing in September. So I'm hoping that I'll still be able to read, but that's the fantasy plan. Now moving on to everything else that is not part of that crazy plan. I do still have a couple more fantasies on my TBR. So first up is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I started reading this on my e-reader when I was on the train in Europe, but I never actually got into it. I was enjoying it, just I didn't really have a lot of time to read, so I never really delved further into it. I probably got about like 50 to 100 pages into it, but I do really want to finish it, so hopefully I will be able to get to this one this month. And this is all about the daughter of a pirate king. What? Go figure. But she ends up getting herself captured by enemy pirates intentionally. Dun dun dun. Super intriguing, very intense. I'm into it. And then the other fantasy is Umberland by Wendy Spinelli. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling that follows Everland, which was her Peter Pan retelling. It came out in May. I've had the arc for forever. We're not going to talk about this anymore because I suck. And the last four books on my TBR are all contemporaries. Like I said, summertime is just contemporary time for me. Romances, quick, cute. That's what I love in the summertime. So I want to get as many of those off of my TBR as I possibly can, starting with The Fill in Boyfriend by Casey West. This has been on my TBR for literally forever. And well, not forever, but it's been on my past four or five TBR videos. Get it together, Haley. Oh my God. I really just need to read this. I have to read this in August. So this might be the next book that I pick up because I've been saving it for the summertime and now summertime is here and almost over and have I read it yet? No. Oh my god. And Casey West also just came out with another book, Lucky in Love, and I want to read that one but I'm not gonna pick it up yet if I haven't read Fill in Boyfriend. Oh my goodness, why do I do these things to myself? And this basically follows a girl who had this boyfriend that she talked about all the time and then he breaks up with her before any of her friends can actually meet him so she ends up having this guy fill in as that boyfriend or else they'll think she's lying and it's just of course they end up actually falling for each other, yada 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 just cute and fun summer yes. Next is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. She has another book coming out soon. I forget what it's called but I believe it's in Ireland. This one takes place in Tuscany and it is just a cute romance that takes place in Tuscany, Italy. That is so perfect for summertime especially since I've been all about the European travel books lately that has been just my life living vicariously through them because I'm back from my trip so I'm just like I need to read about Europe all the time which is just crazy and probably annoying to you guys but whatever. I just am gonna keep doing it anyways. But I've heard nothing but good things about this book, so I need to pick it up. Next is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. I have read two of Jennifer E. Smith's books before. I've read The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight, and I didn't like that one, but then I read Geography of You and Me, and I did like that one. That one really helped me to get out of a reading slump after exams, and this one is all about a girl who buys a boy a lottery ticket, and then he ends up winning the lottery with it. So I'm super intrigued by that plot. I just, for some reason, haven't picked it up yet. I bought it because I was kind of in a reading slump and I was like, she helped me get out of one before, so maybe she'll help me now, but I never actually read it, so great. And the final book on my TBR is The Romantics by Leah Conan. One of my best friends has read this and said it was an adorable, cute, just fun read, and it is a romance story that's narrated by romance, so kind of like a Cupid figure, and it just seems like it's gonna be tons of fun, so that is just a summertime read right there, that is. So that is my August TBR. Who really knows what's going to happen this month? Will I actually follow through with my August fantasy plan? Will I read all the contemporaries that I bought specifically for summertime and haven't read yet? Will I just not read anything? Stay tuned for my August wrap up to find out. I really don't know what's going to happen this month, but hopefully it goes well. But I don't know, I say that and then sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have read any of these, your thoughts on them, or let me know what is on your August TBR. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Girl, I spiritually identify with Luna right now. You've fallen flat on your face. You just keep on trying to stand up, but... Oh god, that's me.